Welcome to the Tune Cafe. My name is Belinda Dovston. Great to have you with us for this monthly overview for the month of July 2020. Now, June 2020, intense, okay, cooperation. We had opportunities to have a revolution in our lives, to shed the skin, to embrace change, to step into a totally new version of our life and who we are, who our business is. And so in the month, you would at some point have been confronted with the opportunity to say yes to change, to new opportunity. Perhaps that's your home where you live, your inner circle, your business, your job, relationships. What was the thing in June that you were confronted with the opportunity to shed your skin and restart, throw out the old and bring in the new? And of course, through that process, creating and activating great power to seize the day, to move forward and to take charge. And of course, we see so much of this energy of revolution around us in the news and the media of societal revolution starting to build up and really expressing itself across the globe. So what does July 2020 hold? Well, sometimes when I cast the coins and I see the hexagrams, particularly things like 47 exhaustion and 39 obstruction and even though I know intellectually there's always a way to move through the change and find a way out I get this kind of oh, really <laughs> how do I share with these people how to maximize this flow of change how do I need to work with this in a positive context and not feel oh no this is not that month so when I cast the coins, I was absolutely delighted that I could share with you some wonderful flows of change this month. Now, it comes with a caveat because sometimes the challenging hexagrams bring us opportunities to grow and expand. And we can get quite lazy and laissez-faire about flows of change that are beautiful and wonderful, etc. So I would encourage you to see that every hexagram, every flow of change we're in, brings with it some aspect that we need to grow up in. <laughs> I know it's quite a harsh way to say that, but you know what? We are all trying to grow up in varying ways, in different aspects of our lives. And for me, these flows of change, I look at it and say, okay, where do I need to grow up this month? The I Ching is going to help me learn where's the path that is best to grow up in this month or this week okay so with that disclaimer let's get into the overview for July we have our first hexagram that comes up for the first flow of change our main flow of change as we start off July is hexagram 14 great possessions greatness great wealth possession in great measure it is a fantastic hexagram okay why is it so fantastic because it is the elevation of light through the heavens it is the shining of light it's the progress and the accumulation of wealth and abundance and blessings but and you know that word but is a problem word but okay the point of this hexagram is that the reason we accumulate wealth, the reason we accumulate learning and greatness and goodness and lightness and inspiration and wisdom is that we can shine that light down to others who are struggling behind us. It doesn't mean that we are not all equals. It does mean that sometimes you have gone through something that can help someone else who's struggling in that area. So this month, there is the opportunity to activate bounty, goodness, blessings, wealth, because it lets you help others do the same. And while we remember our responsibility as leaders, whether it's a leader in your business or industry or in your home or in your personal life, your family, you have a responsibility that as you make progress, as you climb up that ladder towards greater insight and towards greater happiness, that there are others behind you on the ladder who need you. 
And so this month, you are being called to be the leader. As you get, so you give. If you hoard wealth, if you hoard knowledge, if you hoard the goodness that comes to you, you block the opportunity to make it more. Because the more you give, the more you get. That is how it works. So this month, a wonderful theme of tapping into abundance, possession of greatness. And of course, greatness is not just about piles of gold coins. It's also about greatness in internal wealth. Okay, So don't just see that in, you're going to walk down the road and over the rainbow, the pot of gold is going to fall on top of you. It might mean that what you're able to do is tap into a wealth of inner knowledge, of inner insight, perhaps a network that you're able to access, but it opens the door to accessing wealth of a variety of different forms of wealth. And because of that, it means that you can go up that ladder, you can go through that door, and you can bring in the people behind you to follow you because you found a way. Okay, leadership is a theme for the month. We have two changing lines, one in the fourth position and the other in the sixth position. The fourth position changing line in this whole month is the only one which is like, okay, you've got a little bit of maybe harder development here to do. <laughs> and this changing line talks about being very careful and focused that you shine your light, your greatness, through others, not onto others. <laughs> so this changing line will start at the beginning of the month and mature as it goes through the month around about the 10th of July. So the first 10 days, just be very conscious of this process of you shine light through others, not onto others. What this means is that we run the risk for the first 10 days of getting into ego. I am the one that has the light. I am the one that has the wealth and insight. And I am the one who's doing this great work. Okay, What you have to do is you're undercover. You make others great. You shine your light through others without the expectation of the rewards and the fame for it. So we'll be tempted. First 10 days, something will come for us. You'll remember my words and say, oh, shine through people, not onto people. Give others the opportunity to shine brightly through you. It doesn't matter that you're the one that's helped them do that. Who cares? The gift is what you can do through others. First 10 days of the month. And then that will evolve to our second change in line in the sixth position, which is like, whoa, okay. <laughs> the angels come out and the light shines and there's goodness and bounty and a huge, huge sense of accomplishment and of opportunity and of goodness that you have shared and activated and are working with through others, onto others, with others. Your light shines brightly. You are the sun in the sky. So this is really a wonderful changing line. I mean, really, you know, we maybe have to keep our egos in check over this, but it's really about some beautiful goodness coming into our life. And it might be a small thing. It might be a small win, but that's okay. We are here to activate this in the month. Round about the 20th of the month, this changing line will culminate. So keep your eyes open for the bounty and the goodness. It just flows like the door is open, everything lines up, the stars connect, and then, okay. What you need, the wealth that you need just connects. Okay, so look out for that. Then our outcome hexagram, our second transforming change process, the second part where we have to grow up, <laughs> is hexagram 11 piece, one of the amazing hexagrams in the 64, like just beautiful. We have earth on the top which sinks and we have heaven underneath which rises and symbolizing heaven on earth, okay? The stars lining up, this idea of everything lining up, the portals lining up and the doors all opening in sequence and manifestation connecting and activating in your life. Like, we cannot get a better combination <laughs> of these two hexagrams. One little ego check halfway through the month. But such, such amazing energy for us this month. Now, for me, this hexagram 11 piece, when I suspected I was pregnant with my son, and I only have one child, and I cast the coins and asked, 
he's advised Belinda on being pregnant and I had 11 piece locked. And for me, whenever I work with this hexagram, I think of that moment where all the stars line up. Because it took a long time to fall pregnant. So all the stars lining up at the right time and conception, okay, that is connected, that is growing, that the creation of that child and the light can just open up from it. Okay, so that's what I want you to think about is this idea of perhaps this is an idea, a project, something that you've been working on and suddenly kunk, things just connect and the flow comes. Our task is to embrace that flow and share it. So both hexagrams give us a very strong focus point of bounty, blessings, shared. Okay, this is July. Peace is kind of a bit of a confusing word for this hexagram because it's peace on earth, but it's about everything lining up. Heavens and earth are all in the right place and we can create that connection and from there we can grow. This is about sharing, sharing, sharing. Express it, share it, nurture it, grow it. Okay, conception. So what has been conceived in your life in July that can now get momentum? Awesome. I think that whatever you've been wanting to do, the projects you've been wanting to work with, the things that you've been wanting to create, this is a creation abundance zone, people, is give it horns this month. Last month was difficult because the change was there, the revolution was there, there was a lot of power, there was a lot of compression, and we were forced to make changes, and hopefully you've done that. Now things can connect and the flow can come to support us. Beautiful, beautiful, awesome. Seize this moment because you know, having gone from month to month, <laughs> we've had a long period of mm, lots of challenge and here we have this moment to just flow with it. I'm curious to see how we might observe this in our world in July. You know, given the state of absolute chaos and craziness that we see around the world and all our governments around the world. I don't know how this possession of greatness and how this peace is going to manifest. I affirm that peace manifests and that somehow breakthroughs are made and connections are made to allow a new beginning to come into our world. But who knows, what will this look like in July? Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe to this channel. This is a huge help for me. Every like, every view, every subscribe helps me to do more and to keep pouring my love and commitment into this process, which is very precious to me. So that would be really, really appreciated. Thank you. Whether you're watching on the videos, on the YouTube channel, whether you are following from the podcast, you're awesome and I really appreciate you being here with me. Remember to join us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for our daily stories, our little doses of change guidance where we have to grow up each day. And looking forward to hearing from you on how you are doing with the flows of change. See you soon.